So the Bonsai Northwest Melbourne Exhibition is on again this year at Footscray Community Arts Centre, 45 Mormon Street, Footscray, Melbourne, Victoria, on the 20th and 21st of April 2024, 10am to 4pm. Come along, there's lots of stock for sale, heaps of you know trees on display, and I'd love to see you all there. So looking forward to it. G'day YouTube, welcome back to my channel Bonsai Works. Before I get into these trees, um, just a reminder, uh, the Bonsai Northwest Melbourne Bonsai Exhibition and Sale is on the 20th and 21st of April, 2024, um, in Footscray Community Arts Centre. Um, as always, I've been advertising quite a bit, so if you please um, support my Bonsai Club, which I'm president of as well. So it's amazing. It's an amazing exhibition, such quality trees on, on show in Melbourne. Uh, the sales area is going to be massive. It's got so much stuff for sale. So just come along to 45 Moreland Street, Footscray on the 20th and 21st of April 2024. So um, I'll put the details below, but I'll also advertise it as much as I can on YouTube. <clears throat> All right, today, these are these are black pine Yatsubusa. Yatsubusa, yes, Yatsubusa, that's it. Uh, cultivar. So they're a dwarf, a dwarf variety of black pine, a uh, very popular tree. Now, the reason there's two of them, I know, but I will do one and I'll show you uh, the result on the other one. Um, now, I wanted to bring these up because nursery material, this is a material grown in an actual nursery rather than grown for bonsai purposes. Stock that's grown for bonsai is very different to stock that's grown for nurseries. Now, Unfortunately, when I'm finished with these gorgeous little black pines, as you can see, they're a bit of a pom-pom, right? Beautiful little tufts, you know, of foliage. You think, wow, it could be awesome as a bonsai, you know, which they are. However, you need to you need to actually get into them. You need to actually, once I look in here and I'll show you the, the, the tree, there's a lot of issues, you know, you need to deal with. So really important when you're starting out a bonsai, if you're going to get nursery material, pure nursery material, you've got to do a lot of work to get it right. If you invest in some bonsai material that's been grown properly from a bonsai nursery or, or bonsai grower who grows stock who treats the roots properly treats the foliage properly etc you're going to get a much better tree quicker so these are great little great little trees i picked up at the uh, bendigo bonsai club uh, show a couple of weeks ago and i thought this would be great for a video on youtube for the beginners especially about picking good stock now you'll see once i'm done with this there isn't going to be much left uh, I'm, I'm guessing there's not going to be much left because I can I can assure you there's lots of issues with these trees. Um, they're going to be fantastic trees in the future, but you've got to grow them on for a while. So, you know, the first thing you do, right, you invest investigate in the roots and the root spread. I know it's a bit dark, but it's not too bad. The Navarro is actually quite nice, quite interesting. And, and you know, they actually both got pretty good. They both got very nice in the barries, which, which um, we'll have a better look at in a minute. But, okay, so... So first, I usually get them out of a, out of this, so I can have a better look. Now, if you comb out, the key is to comb out as much as you can, and see what's underneath here. You know, see what's underneath this mass of foliage. Now, now I'm going and going and going. I'm getting pretty good. It's a, not a bad nabari. Like it's actually quite a nice nabari. Now I'll zoom in and show you that nabari. Um, it's pretty good from most sides too. Let's have another look around. That's probably one-sided on that side, probably not as good. Probably, it's a really nice Nabari in here. So in around in this beautiful area right here. So that's good. That's a good start. So so that's that's the first thing you look at, Nabari. Now we move up the tree. Now, I'm not going to struggle trying to get the camera in here and show you what's happening. But you, as you can imagine, there are a multitude of branches in here. Bar branches everywhere, multiple branches coming out of the one spot. It is a nightmare, absolute nightmare in here to, to look through. I mean, the really, I can, I'll bring the tree up to you guys and so you can see in, but multitude, crazy amount of branching. You just, just crazy, crazy, right? So how do you start? You know, what are you going to do? Now it's a matter of going in and just being a bit more, I hate to say vicious, but you need to be quite um, creative and looking for branches that might be good. Let's see, um, for, for with these, there's so much little bits of tufts and foliage, there's not really much interesting things, but I wanna try and find at least the main trunk and, and how it goes up. So there is a nice main trunk that's probably going towards the back, if anything, and 
it's probably something that finishes up around here. So it's looking good possibility wise in terms of the trunk structure, but in here it's a monster mass of branches. And this is now purely process of elimination. First thing I do is eliminate anything weak, long, that's too strong, anything, any weak branches that are dying, any strong branches that are too, too strong. So I'm just going to get straight into it. You know, it's not going to be, not, not going to be pretty, but it's going to be hard to show you exactly. But yeah, you know, the pot process is, for example, look at this. See, this is like a little bit of a dead branch that's, you know, a bit of a nothing. All right. So then we, if we pick that as the front, which with the best Nabara, we start to look for side branchings and so on. And look for branches that are interesting. I don't need my smaller scissors just to get stuck into some of these branches. And it's just a clean up process. So I'm going to do some cleaning up. So when you're cleaning up, you're also trying to look for, I kind of look for all the main branches and I keep them, but I cut them back to two only. Two, like a branch and then one, two, you know, two by two by two. I don't leave anything with three or four in one spot. I only have two branches in one spot. So for example, I've got this branch in here. It's going to be hard to show, but it comes out, comes out straight there. And there's a branch, branch there, branch there, branch growing down. So there's a down, there's a straight down side side and a small one that's dying on this side. So if I eliminate the first one that's dying and not very, very good. So get rid of things. So that's gone. So left with three, I guess. Um, branches now probably probably the thing I'll do here is keep even though there's one going down I'll keep that the one that's really strong is too strong so if I take that out I'm left with the two nice now side branches that I could use so these are the two side ones that can form the branch you can have one but I, there's, there's actually a good good reason to have two in it's not a bar I mean it's not a, a multi a world with multiple branches is just the one so that's how that's how we go about that and I'll do that all over the tree so I'm just doing the cleaning up of everything back to twos everywhere the main issue is you go up the tree you start to get really heavy branching a lot of heavy stuff up in here um, so try and cut back to the at least smaller uh, uh, branches not the big heavy stuff um, so that's probably another important thing uh, yeah when you when you get up the further up the tree you're gonna hit some really heavy branching so for in here I've got a really massive massive tri branch in here I'm just trying to look for anything smaller in that spot and there's probably a couple of smaller ones slightly not a huge amount different but at least it gives me some options so I can actually get rid of that big heavy one you know it just has to go this just too it's too heavy at the top there that whole area is really heavy so this is this is what happens when you know you think you're going to get a great little tree but there's so much reverse taper up the top, so many issues. Eventually you can fix, um, eventually, hopefully, <laughs> you can fix. <clears throat> but yeah, this is the reason why these are nursery grown. Nursery grown are not as well grown as bonzo grown, if you if that makes sense. So as you start to thin out, you gotta make some decisions. Now, you know, if I if I choose that Nabari as the best, which it is at the moment, I've got a got a like a very thick, heavy branch. In here with two sub branches now that's never going to be very good in there that's how fat that is it's really heavy and really fat so not a good not a good position for this one I'm just gonna leave a stub when I cut it off so what happens now at least it opens up now we've got a nice branch here I can see a bit more branching up there now I've got another bit of an issue here so <clears throat> ultimately this and this are now bar branch like it goes straight across you can see the issue with nursery grown when it starts to see how the reverse tape is starting to happen here because there's too many branches in one spot it's very hard very need to avoid that as much as we can so in the end eventually i'll be able to carve these back and try and thin that area out so it should be okay but ultimately i'm going to have to get rid of this branch and drop a higher branch down so that's the kind of decisions you need to make so i'm going to cut this guy off so now we've actually got a bit of structure so I've got a first branch here, we've got a nice little branch, nice branch here perfectly, we can walk, 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 bend down. And I think we've got a nice lot of lower branch in here, so that's quite nice. At least we've got that kind of uh, basic structure in place, at least at the start of the tree. So 
a couple of branches ready to go as we move up further up the tree. Um, got some nice smaller ones, smaller one, nice one in there. So there's a few good ones in there. Um, probably coming up to now, but a lot of the issues with this tree, I've almost got a branch sitting on top of another branch. So this branch I want to keep, but this branch is sitting right on top of it. I don't think that's going to be any good in the future but then the issue is I'm running out of branches and there's not much left to choose from so this is where the issue is you know with these nursery going so it's a matter of <clears throat> what do you what do you choose what are you going to use and so on so <sighs> then then you make the decision on the apex so the apex has one two three branches really heavy um, really squashed down this is a very straight this is very straight and pom pom on top it's not going to ever be good um, even if I wire stuff down, there's a very big distance here. So I'm tempted to actually use one of these smaller ones as a new top um, and, and try and create something with the smaller ones, which is probably the better option. So I'm going to eliminate the new, the first apex, so this big one. I know it's a shock to everyone, but it's got to happen because then I can wire these up to create a much nicer, smaller tree with some nice movement and nice structure in the tree. So that's one thing. Now I've got to check which other one I'm going to have to eliminate. Either uh, I want to try and keep one of the smaller ones. <clears throat> so it's going to be a bit tricky. So I've got to figure out which one I want to need. But do you see the the idea? So once I once I finish cleaning this up, um, I'm, I'll put some wire on it just for the basic trunks. I'm not going to wire everything. Just to give you the structure right, just to give you an idea of what the structure is going to look like in the future. And then you see how much work had to go in. And how much you have to remove on these trees you know and um and the reason why bonsai bonsai grown material is a lot better than nursery grown material so in the end this is how the tree kind of ended up really cut cut it right back to basic structure um that's really all you can do regrowing a new top cutting all the big ones off go back to two by two everywhere you know go, go back to the two branching places in everywhere Never, never gonna, the issue is never gonna fix really all this reverse taper at the top. Hopefully the smaller branches will help eliminate that. Hopefully the base grows fatter and we actually lose a lot of that. Because this is a little mini, a lot of this foliage will actually fill up quite nicely and probably will hide a lot of the, the negatives in this area. So that's, that's why. Anyway, that's, that's just my little fi uh, spiel, I guess, or, um, whinge about, you know, if you're gonna grow, you're going to get stock from nurseries it's going to be difficult if you're going to get stock that's been prepared for bonsai much easier to create a better tree so hopefully you saw that now i'll just you know you can see this this guy this this tree here i'm just going to attack it in the same way and we'll see what the result is So there you have it. After a first styling, you get some decent looking trees, um, but a lot less foliage has been a massive reduction. This was the first tree, second tree. First tree's got a really good Nabari, small tree. This one, not as good Nabari, but probably a better structure tree. So nice, nice overall. Just needs time now to fill out and develop. But yeah, you see the difference between proper bonsai. Well, you didn't see the difference, but you see how hard it is to deal with nursery grown material rather than bonsai stock material. So that's one to show you. And these are those little Yatsubusa Japanese black pines. And if you're in Melbourne, in Victoria, don't miss our show coming up this weekend, 20 and 21st of April, 2024, at the Footscray Community Arts Centre, 45 Moreland Street, Footscray. It's all in my first, um, start of the post and in my comments below. So don't miss out. See you soon. Take care.